Have you ever wondered how the concept of makeup originated and evolved through the ages? Our journey begins in the ancient civilizations, where makeup was more than just a tool for beautification. Before we get started, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Now back to our history of makeup. In ancient Egypt, makeup was deeply interwoven with religion and health. Egyptians, both men and women, wore eyeliner made from coal to ward off evil spirits and protect their eyes from the harsh desert sun. They also believed that the gods would reward those who wore makeup. So they used a variety of natural materials to enhance their appearance, such as henna for their nails and hair, and red ochre for their lips and cheeks. Not too far away in ancient Greece, makeup also played a significant role. Greek women valued a pale complexion, as it was a sign of wealth and nobility. To achieve this, they applied powders made from lead or chalk to their faces. However, unlike the Egyptians, the Greeks used makeup more sparingly and mostly for social events. But it wasn't all about social status or religious beliefs. Many of the ingredients used had health benefits too. For instance, the Greeks used olive oil to moisturize their skin, which we now know is rich in antioxidants and helps to keep skin healthy and glowing. Moving to the east in ancient India, makeup was also tied to health and spirituality. Women used coal to line their eyes, believing it to keep them cool and clean. They also used henna to dye their hair and hands, a practice that is still followed today during weddings and festivals. In these ancient times, societal norms and beliefs heavily influenced the use of makeup. It was an integral part of daily life, used not just for aesthetic purposes, but also for protection, health benefits, and religious rituals. These early practices laid the foundation for the evolution of makeup, setting the stage for the myriad of products and techniques we see today. Thus, the ancient civilizations laid the groundwork for makeup, using it not just for beautification but also for health and religious reasons. As we move into the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, we see a shift in the use and perception of makeup. It's interesting to note how societal norms, religious beliefs, and the prevailing beauty standards influence the makeup trends of these periods. During the Middle Ages, the church held a substantial influence over societal norms, including beauty standards. Makeup was often associated with vanity and deceit, leading to a stigma around its use. This stigma was so strong that women who used cosmetics were sometimes accused of witchcraft. A stark contrast from the ancient civilizations where makeup was widely embraced and celebrated. Moving on to the beauty standards of the time, pale skin was the epitome of beauty. This was largely due to the fact that a fair complexion was a sign of nobility and wealth, indicating that one didn't have to labor outdoors. But achieving this sought-after pallor wasn't easy or safe. Substances like lead and mercury were commonly used in cosmetics, despite their harmful effects. These practices, while dangerous, highlight the lengths people were willing to go to conform to societal beauty standards. As we transition into the Renaissance, we see a shift in attitudes towards makeup. The societal norms began to change and makeup started to be seen as an art form, much like painting or sculpture. This era was characterized by a renewed interest in aesthetics and beauty, leading to a more accepting view of makeup. Cosmetics were still used to achieve the ideal of pale skin, but the methods became slightly more refined and less dangerous. White lead paint, known as ceruse, was a popular cosmetic, although still harmful. Beauty marks or mushi, made from velvet or silk, also became fashionable, used to either cover skin blemishes or as a decorative addition. The Middle Ages and the Renaissance were periods of significant change for makeup, reflecting the evolving societal norms and beauty standards. These shifts in attitudes and practices laid the foundation for the evolution of makeup into what we know and love today. The modern era brought about significant changes in the world of makeup, with the rise of the beauty industry and evolving societal norms. As we transitioned into the 20th century, the beauty industry began to take shape, with the introduction of products that have now become staples in our makeup kits. Mascara, for instance, was born out of the need for a product that could enhance and define the eyes. A certain gentleman named T.L. Williams created a concoction for his sister Mabel, a simple blend of coal dust and petroleum jelly. This homemade solution evolved into what we know today as Maybelline, a powerhouse in the cosmetics industry. And then there was lipstick, a symbol of femininity and empowerment. Lipstick rose to prominence in the Roaring Twenties, with flappers applying bold reds to make a statement. This period saw the birth of many beauty brands that still grace our vanity tables today. Hollywood and the media also played a pivotal role in popularizing makeup. 
Silver screen sirens such as Marilyn Monroe and Audrey Hepburn became beauty icons, their signature looks inspiring millions globally. Makeup was no longer just about enhancing one's features, it was about glamour, sophistication, and expressing one's personality. But the evolution of makeup didn't stop there. The 21st century marked a new chapter, with the rise of male makeup and the increasing acceptance of makeup as a form of self-expression. Men began to challenge societal norms, wearing makeup not to conceal but to highlight their individuality. Brands like Chanel and Tom Ford launched makeup lines specifically for men, breaking gender norms and encouraging inclusivity. Moreover, the beauty industry started to challenge traditional beauty standards. Makeup became less about conformity and more about celebrating diversity. From embracing natural skin textures to playing with bold, vibrant colors, makeup in the modern era is a powerful tool of self-expression. Let's not forget the power of social media, which has given a platform for everyone to share their unique makeup looks, further democratizing the world of beauty. The modern era has seen the transformation of makeup into a powerful tool of self-expression, breaking gender norms, and challenging traditional beauty standards. Now, as we look towards the future, what could be the next evolution of makeup? Imagine a future where your makeup is as unique as you are. Technology is making leaps and bounds and it's not far-fetched to think we might soon have fully personalized makeup products, tailored to our individual skin types, tones, and preferences. At the same time, the beauty industry is becoming more conscious of its environmental footprint. The focus on sustainability is likely to increase, with a surge in natural, eco-friendly products that are kind to both our skin and the planet. Inclusivity, too, continues to be a driving force. We're seeing an ever-growing range of shades and formulas designed to cater to diverse skin tones and types. This push for inclusivity is set to expand further, challenging the norms and redefining beauty. As we continue to challenge norms and push boundaries, the future of makeup promises to be as exciting and dynamic as its history. So, from ancient civilizations to the modern era, makeup has been an integral part of human culture. It's journeyed from the coal-lined eyes of the ancient Egyptians to the bold hues of today, constantly evolving to reflect our changing world. And there you have it, the evolution of makeup from ancient times to modern trends. Join me next time as I explore the world of beauty and uncover even more secrets and inspirations. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more beautycation adventures. Until then, stay fabulous.